싶어 Hey, I'm Jay Gregg, and on today's show, we're in Old Sneedsboro, North Carolina, at Buchanan Shoals, and we're actually shooting sporting clays at night. But in the morning, we're going on a good old-fashioned duck hunt and then followed up with a quail hunt. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Carolina Outdoors with Jay Gregg. Get them. Take them. Take them. Wow. Y'all better reload. Here they come, girls. All that sheep up front, we got one up front, it's kind of fall. Sick. Up top, up top. Sorry. Come. Did you hear that shot? Here's one. Out right. front. Oh, come on here. <laughs> Staying just out of reach. Huh? Staying just out of reach. No. They saw all that excellent shooting over here and said, man, we better stay away from them fellas. Coming right to us, right here. Right here, Get right him. here. Take oh, shoot, we moved. Here they come, right here, boy. Let's take them, take them down. There you go, there you go. Good Stay shot, up. good shot. Back, back. Good shot. Excellent, man, excellent. Here comes some more swinging around. See him coming up, right over our heads. Oh, it helps when you put a shell in your gun. Now y'all didn't see that, did you? I didn't have a shell in my gun. <laughs> Here. 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 A shell helps. You got Here. to have a shell in your gun. <laughs> Some to the right. Straight here, out, straight here, out. Here, here. Oh, good, good shot. shot. There you go. Here, that here. was a good shot. Here, here. All right, this one's coming, coming right at us. Oh, that one's wounded too. Now 
boy hunting. Got ducks coming in from everywhere now. From our left. Hey, hey, that's exciting, Jason. Yeah, that was no high. That's exciting, boy. <laughs> that came out of nowhere. <laughs> sit, sit. Here. Well, we're getting ready to go on a quail hunt. Got Paul Cocker gonna be our guide. Of course, we got Jesse back here and Sure Shot and Mark. Y'all did excellent on the ducks, boys. <laughs> Thanks. You can't time. beat that duck hunt, could you? Oh, it's unbelievable. Great time. Well, I got feel. I feel for certain we're gonna get us some quail. All right. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. That was a good one. Good shot, Jesse. Our guide today, which we've been very fortunate to have, Jason Cocker's father, Paul Cocker. They've got a point right here, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to talk fast, but um, he's helps Jason with the, uh, I can't stand it, I love watching in dogs. He let, helps Jason manage the, the, the preserve here. And he's gonna tell us how these dogs work. I love watching that, there you go. Look at the, look at the birds. Did you see all those birds get up? Look at them, look at them, still getting up. Good shooting, boys. Look at the birds still getting up. I should have been up there. God, that was a bunch of birds. I bet you there was 15 birds in that covey. That's what it's all about here at Buchanan Shows. Look at there. Too close. Oh, there he goes. Look, another one. This place is absolutely beautiful. Beautiful facility. They've got it all. They've got quail hunting, duck hunting, deer hunting, and on the South Carolina side of the border, they got hog hunting. I better get on up here and go round some birds up. There they go. Good shot. Good shot. There's another bird right in here. Man, look at that. Look at them dogs retrieve. I love it. Jason, that's all right there. That was perfect. That's the cubby we, that, that's what we've been looking for all That day. was perfect. With me now is Mr. Paul Cocker. This is Jason's father. This is the man. <laughs> no, I'm an old man. <laughs> T tell us a little bit about these dogs working. They've got a point right there. I love how y'all use the lab. I, uh, I've got setters, English setters. Uh, lemon and white, red and white, orange and white. Uh, there he I had the great grandfather the grandfather and the father of these dogs. And uh, uh, in 1980, I purchased the great grandfather from a friend. And then over time, raised my own litters of, of pups. So you've and, been doing this a long time. Yes. Yeah. When I was a boy growing up, and quail hunting is all we had in this county, mm -hmm. uh, my daddy and I, my daddy was a big quail hunter, and so I bird hunted with him. Of course, that was all wild birds back then. Right. And uh, his favorite color was this lemon and white or or orange and white, so that's what I like today. That's why I have the same color today. So it but today I've got uh, a female, her name is Molly. She is 10 years old, and I've got two of her sons, uh, Andy and Sam, uh, same parents, but different litters. Uh, Andy is seven years old and Sam is six years old. I. Uh, in each case, I've always given the other pups away. I'll keep a litter of pups until they're 12 or 14 weeks old and choose the dog I want out of the litter right. and then give the other dogs to friends. I don't raise them to, for, for profit. I just raise them to keep my bloodline going. Right. So uh, There's another friend here who's, uh, who helps us out with hunting release birds. Uh, ben Tuning and his mm -hmm. two setters. We hunted with Ben last year. Yes, you did. And they're, his two setters are litter mates to my two setters. Oh. So. And then uh, Jason's lab. We duck hunted with her this morning. Now she's the breakup dog, right? That's right. I, your dogs mm -hmm. do really well because I tell you, they, they keep the whole point while, while um, Odie is running around. I just love uh -huh. that. I just, mm -hmm. that's, that's something special uh -huh. y'all have here. Well, the labs help push the birds up. You know, even though we have an early release program, they're still not wild birds and they need something, some animal to push them. And of course the setters, their instinct is to point and hold mm -hmm. and you use the lab to flush the birds. Now you say yeah. these birds, y'all didn't put these birds out this morning? No. When these, do y'all put y'all's birds uh, out? September. Wow, so they've, they've, so they've had time to get out here and hang around. That's right. 
that's, and we that's have, special. We have feeders and callback pens uh, throughout the property. Mm -hmm. uh, we supplement feed them uh, cracked corn until they uh, get acclimated to their the natural environment and the natural foods that are here. So it's an uh, interesting process. We started it four years ago. We actually experimented wow, okay. with it four years ago, the last part of the release season. And then it did so well that we uh, went full time with it uh, three years ago. So it's, uh, it's a good program. Uh, the birds fly really well for the most part. You can still have some that won't, right. particularly uh, the biggest uh, way you'll notice that they're not wild birds is they get wild uh, uh, wet from a rain, a shower of rain, they don't fly well. Right. So, so uh, the sun needs to hit them and that's correct. warm them up. That's correct. Tell you, the woods are beautiful. How do you maintain the woods? I mean, that is just perfect this, territory. Uh, where we're hunting is in some 32-year-old pine timber. I, by the way, I have to tell you how old I am, sold this same old growth timber as the final harvest 34 years ago wow. and reforested it 32 years ago. And uh, we, uh, this is, uh, track has had three thinning operations so far. Each thinning operation opens the stand up a little more. We use herbicides to kill back hardwood competition and then we burn either every other year or every third year through these stands of pine timber. And uh, the determination on whether we burn every other year or every third year just to, is our own knowledge of the forest floor and how much litter is there and whether we need to burn every other year or every third year. I'll tell you what, so. folks at home just see us out here hunting and have a good time. But I tell you, a lot of work goes into up here at Buchanan Shows. You've got to come give it a try. We are having a blast. Thank you so much yes, for sir. having us out, Certainly man. So. I tell you, one of my favorite places to come. We're going to get back up on that hill and do some hunting. Okay, we can do it. Yeah, up under that tree, I believe. They were there. Crazy. Oh! Okay. No, I'll get. Heck, now I'm gonna have some fun too. Where's he at? Where'd he go? I hear him right in there. There they are, right there. There's four right there, guys. Pull them around this way. That's fun there. That's hunting at Buchanan Shoals. Had a nice cubby right at my feet. You can't beat it. Can't beat it. Thank you, thank you. That is awesome. Awesome hunting. Right in front. We got birds going everywhere. Everywhere. We got to regroup and get back together and get in a tight ball again. Folks, we have had us a great time here at Buchanan Shoals. Had some great food, great fellowship, great duck hunting, even better quail hunting. You've got to give them a call and come out and do a, a quail hunt. This place is awesome. Whether it's a corporate group or just grabbing your family and going, get out and enjoy your Carolina outdoors. <laughs>